Everyone has black and white photos. Even though a lack of color may keep us from fully connecting with an image, one artist is helping to bring history back to life. Hi, my name's Tom Marshall and I'm a photo colorizer. Well, I started colorizing really as a hobby from most of my childhood. And then I did um, a bit of photo editing as part of my course at college. And then I set up doing it as a business and it's kind of grown from there, just from doing family photos up to projects for museums and publishers and that sort of thing. Marshall finds a way to use uncolored photos as his canvas, working to ensure they look as accurate as they were in the moments they were taken. Most of the work, say 60% of the work, I'd say, for a photo would be the research. So if I'm doing a, a military photo, for example, and I, I get a picture and they've got metal ribbons on, I just know that it's going to take me a good few hours because there's a lot of research to, to go into to find out what the colours of those ribbons were. Colorizing moments of struggle and pain is no easy feat. Tom's job is to ensure his coloring is accurate to the horrors of the images, which can take its emotional toll. The most emotionally taxing project that I've worked on was the Holocaust photos that I did, because I spent two weeks working on the project, and there's a lot of times when I could just have to switch off and not look at the screen for a few hours because they look like skeletons. There's a, an 18-year-old girl in the Dachau concentration camp and she looks like an 80-year-old man. She looks like she's just got no life in her at all, really. So yeah, that was that was the hardest thing I've worked on. Although it may not be easy, Tom puts his all into restoring images of significance, giving individuals, specifically younger generations, a new way to view and learn from the past. It's really important to remember that these people existed and their story gets remembered and told by different different generations and the problem that we have is that nobody thinks to, to go and look at these pictures or if they're shown to them a lot of people just don't bother to look into it but as soon as you see this face in color looking back at you people just you know stop and look and read the story so i like the idea that younger generations will see these photos you know kids at school will look at the story behind it you know it, it's, it's just a way of of connecting with um, with a new generation, I think. Color gives us a new perspective and emotion to something we may not have otherwise fully connected with. And with a lot of time and hard work, Tom and other individuals like him are re-educating us in a new and unique way. For CTV News, this has been Giovanni Papini. <laughs>